I mean, just look at that for the view. Absolute stunning. See everything. Morning. Welcome to the channel. And today is battery health check time. Just over two years I've had the bike. I did it 12 months ago and I want to do the same route again and see if the battery's uh, degraded or it's still running strong. So follow me around and let's see how the battery is and I'll talk around through my first ever ride when I did this and the 12, one I did 12 months ago and then see what's improved and uh, if obviously my fitness is obviously improved and see how much battery I can save this time. So let's go. So I've got my first big climb of the day now. The way the route's set, I do most of my big climbs at the start and a lot of it's just all down at the end. When I did this hill for the first time, when I first bought the bike, I was so unfit. The air. Top of this bit of the hill, I had to push it up, even with a full assist. I'm still in the big cog. I'm being. So that was a big first, big climb of the day done already. Marley straight out my front door and uh, just going through Dalton now and then hopefully come out in the open countryside. Yeah, when I first did this ride, uh, I was totally unfit. I had the power on full all the way around and I used everything but 5% of the battery. And uh, 12 months ago, I did it again. And I had 20% of the battery left. And I did it a lot faster. What I'll do is I'll uh, put them two videos at the end of this video and then you can compare. Just heading into Martin. And that's where basically all the reservoirs are for feeding the whole of South Cumbria. So I have come up quite a bit. There's a little bit more to go yet. Just near them windmills if you can see them. So here we go, time for the steep bit. Let's get to the top and see where, where we are with percentage. Here we go. Oh, full gear here. Full hammer one. Keep going on pedals because the motor will stop if you stop. I think that's it. 34. Tell you what, that's still a beast of a little climb, but that's how my climb's done now. So, as you can see in the background, I've come up quite far. Uh, I've still got just 70% left on the battery, so really good, especially when everything now was flat or downhill. So, going well. So, anyway, let's carry on. So just a quick 
sort of like thing what I was doing like two years ago when I first got the bike I did use a lot of battery on the flats as well because my average speed was around about 14-15% which is under the where the power would cut off after two years I'm probably on flats I'm averaging I get around about 17-18 now so it cuts the battery off so I find it uh, obviously Obviously that I'm not using as much battery. Anyways, let's get going. So I don't know if you can see that, that tree line. Basically that's what I follow over there. If you've seen one of my rides a few weeks ago, I come down that way. I mean, I don't think there's a better view than that, is there? Stunning. That's Morecambe Bay. You're overlooking Heesham there, Morecambe. And over that hill there will be Blackpool. You can actually just see Blackpool Tower over there, actually. But you might not be able to see it, but I can. Yeah, well, I'm uh, probably halfway in now, and I've done a lot of my climbs. Let me have a look. Elevation, just short a thousand feet of climbing. So, yeah, not too bad. I think I've got about 500 more feet of climbing, really. So it's not too bad. Anyways, I'm gonna carry on. I mean, just look at that for the view. Absolute stunning. See everything. Absolute. Stunning. One of my favourite roads to ride this. Has any vehicles and you get that view. Coniston all man, right through to the Fairfield Horseshoe, right across the Lake District. One thing about living in the Lake District is I get to test this bike out fully. There is nothing flat. A beer should be thanking me, really. But one day they'll send me an email. I'll reply to any of my messages. I'm not after anything free. I just want to start reviewing more stuff. Like I say, I've done most of my big climbs, so. Just got a bit of this to do, then drop down into Wolverston. So I'll get back down to you then. Yippee! Like I said, this is just a fantastic road to cycle lift. Not perfect time at, but. Full of fish, you just eat clams like that. Eat them. These are big games, they're just a ridiculously good ride. They just feel so smooth, even though we've got a motor on the back wheel. Once that motor kicks off after 15.5 mile an hour, there's no resistance in that. You can just go. Like I was saying to you before, I average more than 15.5 mile an hour now, so I'm hardly using any of the battery. Especially on downhills like this. Dropping it into Overston now. And, uh, I've got 65% of the battery left. 
So I've only used 5% since. I've only used 5% since uh, I got to the top of the hills. I've done about 7 miles since then. I've got about 7 miles to go. I should have quite a big chunk left. Which should be good. Anyway, a nice lot of descending all of a sudden now. And then, uh, then I'm on the, the way home then. Got to be a little bit careful of cars pulling out on you. Right, so that's it. I'm about literally five minutes from home. I'm not going to use any more battery. So, like I said, I put my data here. This is what I've done today. And obviously, the video I did 12 months ago, I will put here. Hopefully, it'll come up near the end. Please watch it and have a look, see what you think. Like I said, I had 20% of the battery left 12 months ago. When I first did the ride, my very first ride, unfit, everything, I had 5% of the battery left. How much battery do you think I've got left now? 53%. Wow. 53%. I mean, I am a hell of a lot fitter. But going off the battery, I don't think it's degraded at all. I mean, when I was doing the climbs at the start and all, like, it felt like it was giving me the same power and everything. And, you know, it felt really good. And uh, obviously, you think it'd be a lot less if it had degraded. Obviously, I know my fitness is a lot, but 53% to have left. You know, two years of cycling just shows what e-bikes can do and get you out there, especially these are beer gains. So I like testing it. I like it gets a good test up the Lake District, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this has helped us or helped some people uh, like and subscribe. It does help my channel grow and uh, please uh, watch it again if you need to uh, and uh, thanks for watching and thanks for everyone who all them lovely comments you give me and I'll see you on the next one.